Hi, Howard Deal here again with another short video. Uh, today I'll be covering uh, deductible and coinsurance as it applies to your major medical plan, either uh, your group or individual coverage. Uh, a lot of people have questions on how the deductible, coinsurance, and max out of pocket work together. So uh, this will be another short video just to kind of explain that. Uh, remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos to follow. Uh, I will be doing another uh, video on uh, how to avoid claims easily, which you might want to see that one. So remember to hit the subscribe button. Uh, also, I'll be including a tag in this video on gap insurance. Uh, gap insurance covers uh, the uh, your out-of-pocket cost and possibly your deductible, whatever you buy on the gap plan, but they do make that for group and individual. So I'll include a tag on there so you can take a look at that video and see what gap insurance is all about. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to show you an example of a, uh, a typical insurance policy today. So uh, with all that being said, let's get started and let's take a look. So uh, this is a typical plan design for 2023. The deductible is $3,000. Coinsurance is $80,20. And the maximum out of pocket is 8,500, which is really not uncommon these days uh, for major medical plan designs. So uh, when you go to the hospital, uh, the first thing that's going to happen when you walk in the door is your deductible is going to begin. So the red arrow there shows that you're paying the first $3,000 on the sample plan. And they'll normally ask you that when you first walk into the hospital or they'll try to set you up on a payment plan. But one way or the other, you pay the uh, first $3,000 of, the, of the, uh, the treatment. So the next year, coinsurance begins. And uh, on an 80-20 plan, you're going to be paying 20% of the $8,500. Correction, you'll be paying 20% up to $8,500. And the insurance company is going to be paying 80%. So the green is what the insurance company pays. The red is what you pay. Now, uh, once your maximum out of pocket is satisfied, so once you paid out of pocket $8,500, then the insurance company is going to pick up and pay the remainder uh, for 100% for the rest of the calendar year. So remember, the calendar year is important. But uh, the calendar year, obviously, it's going to end December 31st, uh, January 1. So if you're in a situation where you go to the hospital at the end of the year, you could end up paying your deductible and your out of pocket cost uh, and be out of pocket $8,500. And if you're still in the hospital January 1st, then you, you're going to be subject to another $3,000 deductible and another $8,500 out of pocket. So uh, click on the tag up above for uh, the video on the gap insurance. Uh, here at the general agency, we do offer gap insurance and we encourage it because of that uh, simple fact that people can't afford $8,500 max out of pocket. So uh, in most cases, gap plans are really worth the, uh, worth the investment. So uh, we'll take a look at that. So um, here's, how the, here's how the timeline runs out. The timeline, uh, you'll see October, November, December, new calendar year is January 1st, starts at 12.01 a.m. Uh, your old deductible and maximum amount of pocket, once it hits that new calendar year, January 1st, then new deductible begins. Like I mentioned before, uh, it's important that you have uh, some type of protection because you could be out of pocket a lot of money if you happen to have that treatment at the end of December and beginning of January, you're still in the hospital. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, the next video that I'll be doing is going to be on uh, deductible carryover. So you might want to hit subscribe to the channel and uh, that way you can take a look at the difference between carryover and takeover. So I hope this video helps you. And uh, remember to like this video if you did like it and uh, subscribe to our channel and there'll be more videos to come. Have a great day.